Hey gang, Jason here for the love of tractors. And I'm just doing this little intro video to ask you to subscribe, like, and share this page. Get the word out there. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. We're at 1,776 actually as I make this video. So we're getting there. <laughs> I'd love to get to 2,000 by, I don't know, the 4th of July? Is that possible? I don't know. We gain about 80 a month or so. So we've got a month to do that. Anyway, let's talk tractors, y'all. So continuing with our truck series, I like these trucks a lot. I've never done a truck and given it a collector score. So we're going to do that today. And um, you guys seem to like the trucks a lot. So that's cool. We'll, uh, we'll do this some. So we're here with a Peterbilt Semi. This is a 379, I believe. Um, I'm not up on my semis too well. I'm not a semi person necessarily. So this is going to be weird. A lot of you are probably going to laugh at some of the crap I say because it's going to be wrong. <laughs> and then we have a Wilson Hopper Bottom trailer. So as you guys know, I basically have a uh, uh, a black on black theme going for my uh, trucks and grain trailers on the, the model farm on Dogtown Ag. So uh, that's where this comes from and all of that. So kind of a funny thing, I actually traded this truck um, with a buddy of mine, Tom, who's a kind of a toy, toy dealer a little bit. And um, I don't even remember what I traded him for, or traded for it. I did it at St. Louis a couple years ago, and then when I got it home, I was a bit shocked to see that it has the black wheels all the way around. Uh, all the others I have have chrome wheels all the way around, and then I actually liked the black look, so I started converting some of my others to uh, that look as well. But this is stock. This is the way it came. Uh, it came out of the box anyway, so, you know, if you know anything about that, uh, feel free to share it below. But uh, really cool toy here. So the thing with these trucks are they're like 80 bucks uh, for truck and trailer, roughly. You can sometimes catch them for less. If you buy them separately, every once in a while you can get yourself a deal. Uh, and then sometimes you pay a lot more. The DCP stuff is expensive, but it's worth it because it's super high detail stuff. So let's take a look at the hopper bottom first, and we'll just go through this real quick. There's not a ton of stuff to go through here. You got a ladder and step up front. Lots of nice decaling there, uh, warning labels and so on and so forth. Just really well done. If we go to the bottom, if you want to uh, unhook this and have it sit, you can unscrew your stands and you can screw them back in. Hoppers do open, both of them. Pretty cool, you've got your knock rails and all that there uh, if you need to get your grain out. And uh, the running gear has quite a bit of detail. I mean, there's like airbag detail and all that stuff here. So it's it's pretty well done. I like the tires, I like the wheels. Tires are rubber, but they're they're kind of a hardish rubber, but they're still rubber, so big points for that. And then there's like a, it's like a Dayton style wheel, but it's, uh, you know, it's all blacked out. And of course you don't get the cut throughs or anything like that because of the way it's cast, but I don't think it uh, detracts too much from the way it looks. Moving around to the back, we've got another ladder. You can see a step, some nice mud flaps there, really nice lights and DOT striping and lights up here. Those all show up extremely well. Now this does have a tarp, um, a roll tarp thing on it. I've got it off of here right now and I probably should have put it on for the review. Hmm. But those tend to fall off. There's just a hole they stick in there. You have the handle face in that way if it's closed or that way if it's open. Like I said, they tend to fall off, so I tend to just set mine on a shelf. <laughs> so anyway, really nice DOT striping down the sides. I mean, it just looks great. You can see the way the light catches it. It just looks good. And then you've got some side markers as well. So the tarp does open. Now you could roll it technically, but it's gonna be big and bulky and it's probably not gonna look right. Most guys just lay them over. And uh, we'll take a look inside here. Really nice hopper, tons of rivet detail and all of that. And like I said, if you open it up, you can see there's open. Nice tarp bows across the top. Those look great and to scale. And you've got some really nice ends here, end caps. So these are mostly metal, mostly die cast. Now the inside's plastic and the tarp bows are plastic, but 
The rest of it is mostly metal. So you've got a really, really nice uh, piece there. And it's heavy. It, it's got some good weight to it. One other thing I forgot. You've got your cranks on the side to uh, open your hoppers. So, cool stuff on that for sure. All right, now let's take a look at the peat. I just realized I customized this peat. <laughs> One little thing. This visor was silver or chrome. I guess it, this, it was chrome. I painted it. Uh, black hood does open on these might as well go in and take a look right now really nice engine detail in there you got your charge pipes and your uh, your pipes going to the intercooler to the front and your coolant and all of that you can see the turbo on the side just again really nice detail on the engine hood opens and closes easily easily stays in the up position and closes back down Nice Pete logo on the side as well as rivets on the side. Front end does steer. A couple you got you got several positions there you can put it in. You can hear it clicking. Anyway, really nice touch. Cool big chrome bumper up front. Really cool grill with a nice screen in there. I can I think you can see that pretty well. Really nice. It's got texture to it. You can feel it too. Nice Pete logo and hood ornament as well. And your headlights and turn signals. Also looking up front here, we've got uh, our air cleaners, those looking nice and chrome, and you've got mirrors, and big dual stacks with grab handles on the side. Now, these doors, I don't believe open. They don't, and that's, that's perfectly fine. There is a detailed, or reasonably detailed interior in there, and obviously I'm gonna have a little trouble showing you, but I really like the silver highlighting around all the doors and openings. It just it breaks up the black a little bit, and it's something I need to do on my custom trucks. It's just a, a good tip to learn from, from us, some DCP there. You've got your cab lights look good. Your horns look good and chrome up there. Those are all plastic. All your accessories are plastic, but th the main parts of this are metal. Now, this one comes with a sleeper. If... <laughs> If you want to throw it, if you want to remove your sleeper, just move your PTO shaft out of the way, a little Phillips head screw driver there, take that Phillips head screw out, and that sleeper pops right off, and uh, it looks good as new. I mean, it's just, a, it's just a nice cab back here, so, you know, you can easily make these a single cab. On the back, this particular one has a headache rack. Now, I know some of these come without them, some of them have with them, and that's the, kind of the thing with DCP is... Uh, there's a lot of little variations though so, so you know in a way it's milking their casting but in a way it's giving you a lot of different variations and options for your trucks uh, a lot of guys take these off swap them onto other trucks and so on and so forth so you can see it's got the chains it's got the tie downs it's got your air hoses all of that good stuff nice fifth wheel hitch here and uh, you know dual dual wheels on the back oh, one of these would be kind of cool super singles although you don't see too many farmers running super singles Nice DOT striping on your peat mud flaps and your brake lights right there. Fuel tanks, steps, all that. Let's pop back up under here for a second. Check out your exhaust comes out here and wise into your duals. And then uh, we've got your, your drive shaft that runs all the way back into here, into your wheels, where again, you've got some nice detail there. You can even see the engine and transmission whoops, up under here. So... All in all, this is one sweet setup. Like I said, it's it's pricey, but keep in mind, before this existed, your only options for hopper bottoms in the farm toy world were those Ertl plastic hopper bottoms, and um, they were weak sauce, <laughs> to say the least. And there was a point before these hit that those were actually getting up in like the 40 to $50 price range because everybody wanted them for their display and there weren't a lot of them around. Then Ertl reissued them and that drove the price down some and then DCP came and that crashed the price on them. You can get those hopper bottoms for basically nothing now or next to nothing. Nobody wants them because these exist. So, you know, that, that's kind of the, the story on that. So let's take a look at our collector score on this. So this is gonna be my first truck collector score. So what, 
you know, bear with me, I guess. We're going to set the standard here. So value, like I said, this is a $70, $80 tractor, or tractor and trailer, truck and trailer, whatever you want to call it. So that's, that's pricey. I don't know, you know, I don't, wouldn't call it a value, but I don't think it's a bad value either because look what you get with all of this detail. And, you know, they make these in all sorts of different colors and so on and so forth. So that's pretty incredible, I think. So I'm actually going to surprise myself a little bit here with the value and go with a 7. All right, collectability. <laughs> all right, so these, they make a lot of them. But with that said, the black hopper bottom, black peak combination is a little harder to find these days. And I think the last time I looked, which was about a week or so ago, the set was going for more like 90 bucks versus the 70 or 80 bucks that maybe it retailed for new. So it's clearly out there a little bit. I think a lot of people like these, but I don't think they're super rare or super like have to have it collectible tractors. So with that said, I'm actually going to go with a six on our collectability there. The detail on this thing is out of the park awesome. Now, I'm sure, you know, the custom guys are doing things to take it even further, but, you know, as a guy that's just, uh, you know, just sort of wanting it for your model farm as a farm truck, I don't know that you could ask for more. I mean, sure, you could swap out your stacks. You could put those giant, you know, sink, you know stacks without the, the cover on there, all that sort of thing. You know, there, there are things you could do, but from the factory, this thing is detailed to the hilt, and I'm going with nine on that. I think it's awesome. All right, quality. So these are rugged. I mean, you just saw me drop this, right? <laughs> they're, they're pretty tough built. Uh, you can definitely break things like the mirrors, but they actually include extra mirrors with them. So that's they, maybe they anticipate that. I don't know. But they're tough. They're toughly built. I think the quality is pretty awesome on these. So I'm going with a 9 on that. So that takes us to rarity. And I don't know that these are particularly rare tractors. Um, you know, like I said, they're out there and they're maybe a little harder to find. But they're going to make more Pete 379s and they're going to make more hopper bottoms. And so at the end of the day, yeah, you can get these still. So rarity, well, I'm going with a five. <laughs> They're just not particularly rare. So if that gets, uh, if, you know, I kind of math it up a little bit here, that gives us a collector score of 36. So that's really pretty good. That's that's uh, on the high end of solid, if you will. Uh, a lot of our collector score stuff has been in the 30 to, you know, upper 30s range. And I've got some stuff coming that's sort of off-the-shelf stuff, and that's going to be definitely on the lower end of the scale. And then i got a couple items that are going to, I think, push 40. We'll see. I actually thought maybe this would by the time I wrote it all down and got it on paper, but it didn't. <clears throat> and, I, you know, it's the rarity and the collectability that kind of hurt that a little bit. So, anyway, guys, that's my first collector score on a semi-truck. How did I do? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What other things do you want to see me review? Let me know down below in the comments. I would sure appreciate it. Also, if you could give us a like and uh, subscribe, all that stuff. I know that's cliche at this point, and everybody makes fun of people asking for that, but we appreciate it as guys making videos. <laughs> so, okay guys, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.